Hi everyone, Kevin from my Philippine American adventure. Today I'm heading to Las Vegas to send a Balik Bayan box to Rowella and Fitz and her family. I will be doing a video about that. Right now I'm on a back road in Utah here. Just a couple hot air balloons. Once I get going here, I'm going to give you an update of what's been going on in my life over the last year and nine months since the outbreak of the COVID virus. Right now I'm trying to get back to 15, I-15. So I'll get back with you guys shortly. I just wanted to show you the hot air balloon. the hot air balloon and the uh, in 1.1 miles take a slight right turn on the south 3000 street I don't even know where I'm going this is all new to me took the new highway 7 from hurricane just to see what it's like and I kind of regret it now I'll get back with you guys shortly. Okay, hi everyone. I'm back. Um, I was going to tell you, I'm taking a back roads instead of I-15 through the gorge because they got construction. So I'm on the Paiute Indian Reservation. So taking a little detour because of the construction through the gorge. I don't know if it's backed up or not. Anyway, I want to tell you about what I've been doing for the last year and a half, year and three quarters. Um, you, you all know I was in the Philippines last year, or not last year, no, I guess it was last year. Came home March 2nd, 2020. Philippines after spending three months there with Rowella and Fitz and Nathan. And I came back, the pandemic started. I worked for two weeks, two or three weeks we worked, and they shut us down due to the COVID outbreak. We were out of work for two and a half, three months, something like that. And then went back to work, we had to wear the mask. They put a shower curtain up around the seat. So we've been working ever since July of last year. Everything is going good. I've never caught COVID. I've worked around thousands and thousands of people over the last year and a half. Here I am. And I haven't caught COVID yet. If I did, I don't have any symptoms. I haven't been tested yet. I haven't got vaccinated. But I will be probably trying to get to the Philippines later, maybe January if the Philippines opens up this year. I guess next year now, January, be 2022. In order to travel, I have to get my vaccine. So I guess I'll have to bow down to the mandatory mandate and finally do it if I want to travel. Totally against the vaccines, but you know, that's just my viewpoint. What have I been doing? Well, just working, a lot of overtime, doing a lot of working overtime, sometimes 15, 20 hours a week. So I've been keeping really busy. Roella and I, the fiance visa situation, The visa is still sitting in the NBC in New Hampshire, waiting to be shipped over to the Manila Embassy. It's been there since last June 2020. So over a year, 15 months, 16 months ago, it was, it's been sitting at the NBC, just waiting to be shipped to the Embassy in Manila, but it has not been shipped over there yet, or sent by the way of internet. It's no longer shipped in the mail should have been would have been a lot quicker so we're just waiting for the visa 
to be sent over there so she can take her medical and her interview and then get over here. We've been together almost three years and she hasn't been able to come over here yet due to the COVID. I'm sure a lot of people are upset about fiance visas not being approved in a timely manner. And then sits at the NVC for months and months almost a year and a half sitting at the NBC office so that's pretty much the update um, on the Filipina Filipina cut that the fiance visa um, just sit and wait it's a waiting game now the USCI S C whatever the hell it is USCIC, USCIS, I don't know. Anyway, whatever that is, is um, so that process has already been done. It's hard for me to concentrate and drive on a two lane road at the same time. Sorry, I should probably do this. But started now, so I might as well continue. Anyway, we've been approved and everything. We're just waiting for the visa to be sent. the paperwork to be sent to the embassy. All the stuff I'm sending to the Philippines is back here. I'm going to have to pack it because I can't get the box prepackaged in my car. So I got to box it up once I get to the forex. warranty expired May of this year and when you know June comes around my air conditioner goes out that cost me $1,400 to replace the air conditioner I was without an air conditioner for three months in the middle of summer June July and August towards the end of August I finally got it put in water heater went out at the same time that was another $1,300 Not covered under the warranty because the warranty expired. Wouldn't you know, a month after the warranty expires, all this problem. Now I'm having electrical problems. So I gotta have the RV technician come back out again and see what's going on with the electric situation. The lights go dim, they disappear, they won't turn on. The outlets work fine. Outlets are all working 100%. My overhead lights, the air conditioner, the heater to keep warm, the refrigerator. That's the stuff that doesn't work when the power gives me a hard time. So I got electrical problems. So that's going to be the, my next big expense to have the RV technician come out and see what's going on with my electric now. So not hasn't been a good year. Um, 
what else happened this year? Well, besides not being able to be with Roella, and then all my RV problems, it's been kind of a crappy year. Still working a lot of overtime. RV technician was supposed to come over this morning. He calls me this morning and says he can't make it, so he can't make it till next Tuesday. That's why I'm heading to Las Vegas right now to do the Blick by Unbox. I'll be doing a video of that later. The park's been busy, really busy in the park. So, no lack of tourism, that's for sure. here I'm gonna start doing some videos locally here once I quit working every day I've been working six seven days a week so if I do get a day off I'm really tired or busy doing something else but uh, yeah I'll just start doing some videos locally here as soon as it slows down and I have some time get you some good videos out there with my new GoPro 8 black that's pretty much an update of what's been going on I appreciate you guys watching this video subscribing giving a thumbs up preferably rather than a thumbs down get you an update on the fiance visa we're still waiting after almost two years December 2019 actually is when we applied so it's gonna be two years in December update on the visa, an update on my RV fifth wheel, the problems I've been having, my car, been having a lot of problems with that too, it's been in the shop nine times and it still is not fixed correctly, so I need to take it back to the shop again and have them finish up the little minor details that need to be fixed. So it really hasn't been too good of a year. Things breaking down. We're still waiting for the visa. We'll talk to you guys soon. Sorry I'm rambling. Sorry I ramble a lot. Anyway, you guys take care. Thanks for watching. Give a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Appreciate it. Appreciate all you guys. All the older subscribers have been with me for years. All the new ones that just joined. Thanks for joining up with my videos. And we'll keep you guys up to date more. Talk to y'all real soon. I'll do a video of the Blick Bion box loading once I get to Las Vegas. See you guys. Bye. Hey, hey.